Kathy McBreen, President of Millionaire Corner. Did you know that face-to-face -face meetings continue to be the most important communication tool between an advisor and an investor? In recent research conducted by Spectrum Group regarding the relationship between investors and their advisors, face-to-face -face meetings were rated as the most important communication tool by investors and the least likely to be given a poor rating. In fact, most of these meetings were rated as excellent or satisfactory. Younger investors were slightly more likely to only rate these meetings as satisfactory, and a few rated them as poor. What other communication tools were rated by investors? The blogs provided by advisors were generally rated as excellent or satisfactory. However, not very many advisors provided blogs, and therefore their clients were unable to see their insights. And some of the websites as well were also poorly rated. What types of communications should you ask for from your advisor? Well, first of all, make sure your advisor is willing to meet with you face-to-face -face as frequently as you desire. We find that most advisors meet at least twice each year with their clients. And second, while many advisors provide a newsletter, sometimes they're viewed as a product push. If your advisor doesn't already do so, ask him or her to create a blog that has up-to-date thoughts about the market. Nothing's worse than reading some boring, overly compliant newsletter created by a big home office somewhere. You want to hear the voice of your own advisor, not that of some office thousands of miles away. And finally, if you like to communicate via email or text, let your advisor know that. Texting is becoming increasingly acceptable as more firms are able to incorporate a technology that actually retains copies of the text. Your advisors need to keep these copies for compliance reasons. Be sure to make your advisor communicate with you the way that you want to be communicated with. This is Kathy McBreen. Thanks for watching.